This ain't no ordinary love we got going on I pick you up in my 59 Ford We head on down the road until we get bored Just you and me and the sun and the wind If the rain should stop falling we'll head on home again Everybody else can see where we belong Whoa, whoa. What's up, Slow Game? So. You know, there's a whole slant there. What? Like of cement. Like if you opened your door all the way, it would it would have hit it. I didn't know That's that. why I stopped it. Thank God you was there. I had a joint on the side. What's up, Storm Game? Um, so. I told y'all in the last vlog, this vlog, I was gonna tell y'all why we don't have the Lamborghini Urus right now. So, the guy that works at the dealership, right, he had one. He sent me the pictures of it originally. It was white, red interior. I was like, cool. So I went to the dealership to check it out and make sure everything was all good or whatever. I kind of didn't want it because the miles were somewhere that I didn't want them to be. That wasn't bad, but I just didn't want that many miles on it, especially spending the type of money that was going to be spent on the truck. So I said that when I got there, he basically stated that, well, when we got there, he basically stated that the truck was sold. Um, they showed us another one that they had. The other one that they had had about 30,000 miles on it. I said, no way, not happening. He got something else, so he's like, come, come sit down with me. We went, we waited for him to finish with a customer he was dealing with. Me and Rain proceeded to go inside and, you know, sit down with him. And he started telling me, oh yeah, I can get you another one. Ah, ah. He jumped online, he was showing me a few, and I'm like, nah, that's not the one. You know, because for me, it's like- One the, had the seats you wanted, and this one had the lights you wanted. Right. They were all different times. So, and then I told him I didn't want certain colors. And he just kept showing me these bright colors. I didn't want no bright colors out of a white, black, blue, gray, or like a platinum silver. It's the only yeah. ones that I want. He showed me a yellow one. He showed me a green one. Uh, I forgot, it was just a bunch of bright colors. So we like, no. So then a couple of days is going by, like I leave or whatever. He just keep hitting me up. He's talking to me. He's talking to Rain. Um, so he's sending me the cars. And he's like, oh, what about this one? He found one. I'm like, yeah, I like that one. Ah, ah. Mind you, I told him, yo, hold off. Don't order the truck right away because I want to make sure that all my money is right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Had a little situation with the bank, so we had to make sure everything was right. He went on and took the initiative to order the truck. So he texts me. I hate when people do that. FYI. I ordered your Lambo. So I'm like, all right, bet, thanks. You know what I'm saying? Cool. I wanted the truck. That was Ooh. bad. Right. A couple days later, he texts me again. It landed. He sends me a video of it landing. If you see the text messages right here, you can see that. Boom. So I hit him up. I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, uh, I'm definitely going to come pull up over there, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, still got this issue with the bank. The bank told me about two weeks. He's like, no, no problem. Such as we on the phone, we talking, all that, right? Now, um, I hit him up and you know, he hit me up. So I hit him back. I hit him back and, um, I was just telling him, like, basically, like, listen, I can't take no money out the bank right now. You know, I can only give you this much down as a deposit for right now. 
that I have in cash. Is this okay? He said yes and agreed to it. No problem. Boom. Now, in the messages, you can clearly see that he ordered the truck for me. Um, told me when it got there, everything. Told me to come down and check it out and everything. Boom. Now, everything, we on the good and narrow, all right? He, I already synced this truck prior to him even showing me the truck on an, online. Uh, online, right? Because we was just looking at this point, we were just like, if we can't find a good one in New York, we're just gonna travel for it. We found, the, we found the few in Boston, we found the few in Los Angeles. Uh, what was another one at? I think it was one in, like, it was more than Florida, one. Florida, Pennsylvania, Charlotte, North Carolina. We found a few. Boom. So for the supposedly rare to find. Rare to find truck. It's, it's, you know, in high demand, which I understand it is in high demand, but I found them. So, all right, that was the first, this is where the first strike comes in why we don't have the truck. The first strike was I originally seen the truck, right? Boom. This is the truck, see it? Boom, that's the price. He gets the truck and charges $15,000 more than what the truck the originally was, right? And that's the value of the truck. That's why they price the truck the way they price it. He's overpricing it by $15,000. Now I get it, if you wanna make a quick, you know, some quick bucks, extra five on top or something. With 15, bro, you over exaggerate. And it wasn't everything that I wanted in the truck, but I agreed to it because it's just like, hey, I'm gonna buy this truck and I'm gonna wind up building a, a 2022 version. And then I'm gonna wind up out of renting this truck out on Toro or something, or wind up just trading it in for something else. That's the only reason why I agreed to the truck. Now, the second screw was, I'm online, I'm still just looking around and stuff, you know, shopping around, and I see the truck listed from him, the dealer that ordered the truck for me. So he lists it. My thing is, if you listed it, if you brought it for me, why is it listed? You get what I'm saying? So then, that was the second strike. Like he listed it on a few sites and I'm just like, oh wow. You know, you called me, you told me when it landed, you know, we already took business. Told you I was coming in, the truck is listed less than a day later, like, no problem. The, the, so then he keep hitting me up, he keep hitting me up. But now the way I am is I'm a principal type of guy. And I don't care, you know, I understand it's the, it's the automotive business and that's how it is. But what you're not gonna do is, oh, I ordered the truck for you, bro, it's here, come in, da 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 da, come drop your deposit off whenever you're ready. Or, oh, listen, you don't even gotta do this. I was planning on paying the truck out complete cash. I did not want to take a note out on it, nothing. This is why I told him I needed the two weeks so I can clarify everything with the bank and get, you know, go ahead and take the money out and pay for the truck. Oh, bro, you don't even gotta pay for the truck out. You can do this, you can take a note out. I don't, don't want to take a note out, you know what I mean? I have a note on this Beamer and I, I just, I don't care for notes. I never did care for notes. Um, so, now he's like, nah, just take it out. You can take the, you can take the loan out. Just put that down and boom, you get the loan. But he lists the truck. So now we at strike two. Like, first strike is you charging me fifteen thousand dollars more than the truck is, and then you listed the truck. Now, the one that was supposedly got for us, right? So, and then the third strike was like just listening to him text me. <laughs> and talk oh right he's he's texting he's texting yeah bro look because we was gonna get another truck because there's another truck that i also wanted so we was gonna buy both trucks the oris and the other truck and she wants a car so i was gonna i was gonna buy three cars from him um he goes yeah bro if you um take both of the trucks i'm gonna give you a good deal on it like how are you gonna give me a good deal when you already charging me fifteen thousand dollars over the value of the truck you know what i'm saying but i never said nothing to him you know i, I just you know i feel people I, I give people enough room to hang themselves like you get what i'm saying like i just i i, I, I lay the player fill out and i just see how, if you if you're trustworthy if you know you like who you are who you say you are 
Because, you know, people will show their true colors when they come to these numbers and they see that you're playing with big money. They, they think that they can get over on you. But I'm a car, I'm really a car person. Like, I'm into cars. I'm into, like, knowing values of cars. I'm into modifying all of that. You know? So, I'm just, I'm just like, in my head, like, yo, this guy is crazy. Like, you know, I think because we came in there, I was so excited to get the truck and everything, the, the white one. Not the one he ordered. Not this blue one. Gray, whatever it is. The white one, he thought that he had a dummy. Far from one. So you know, I just I just left him. I ghosted him. Like, stop answering this call. Stop answering this text messages. It is what it is. You know, and that's the reason why we don't have doors. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't like snakes people that do snake stuff. I don't, I just can't get jiggy with it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 nah. Get jiggy with it. But, <laughs> I can't, and it was just one of those situations where it's just like, yeah, you know what? Maybe it's a sign because this is like. Those are the exploding. <laughs> right. And I already have a connection at the Lamborghini dealership. Shout out to my boy Vincent. And he told Vinny. me just to build one. It's going to take six months. I really didn't want to wait the six months, but why not? Getting a brand new one rather than one with 10,000, 16,000 miles on it, I'll be getting a brand new Lamborghini. So why sit here and waste the time and spend the money or give up extra $15,000 that they're trying to jit me for when I could just take that exact same amount of money and go build me a brand new one with all the options that I want? Because I want the seats with the hexagons in it. I want the... Um, ambient lighting uh, i want the 23 inch rim package carbon fiber package um what else is it up there oh the aquaterra is standard the bangman office olive is standard um so like but all the little details and stuff that i want so i think what i'm gonna do is just go ahead to the lamborghini dealership sit down with vince and we're gonna put down twenty thousand and just build a brand new one and wait for it to come and in the meantime we might just buy the other truck that she wants or I want. I don't know yet. But y'all stay tuned. Y'all know what it is. We out of here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and remember. Peace.